idea. this song. There's a lot of things about that original Alan Wake playthrough, but this is the one that lasted the longest. Oh, I was thinking I was going to get away with it then. Never mind. Sounds so strange in Welsh. Nice. Just as insulting in Welsh as it is in English. Hazelop, Cheeky, Auger, Eric, Moria. Welcome to the stream. Can't wait to find out this game ends in a few minutes. It is, Eric. It is. It is. It's what Sam Lake's ever. The last thing he wrote at Remedy, I believe. I don't think he was on Quantum Break or whatever it's called. Right. Alan Wake is a game we played earlier last year, and this is an expansion, like a, like an add-on content, if you will. That's what I'm here to like. So the idea is that the original Alan Wake, it's a campy, sort of slightly tongue-in-cheek third-person action horror shooter. You play, in the first one, the, similar to uh, Stephen King, author Alan Wake, who is suffering from serious writer's block, so he goes to a small town in, I think, Somewhere in the northeast of America, somewhere up there, and uh, goes and stays in this beautiful cabin in the middle of an isolated lake. And it turns out the darkness in the water wants to kill him, so it takes over all the inhabitants of the town and tries to kill him. He goes to Sunderland. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now, Auger. All right, just got an idea. You should play through Max Payne series. Uh, I should. You're right. I don't know why I haven't even got it on the list for now, so I'll put it on. This, however. Basically, it killed his, the darkness killed his wife, and he went mental, tried to fix it, and then the darkness gave him his wife back, but killed him instead. Trapped him in the house at the bottom of the lake, where he is forced to write for eternity. Uh, and that's where it left off. This is Alan Wake's American Nightmare, which I have absolutely no idea what it is. Never played it before, so I guess we just fire off. Right, before I get started, though... You shouldn't give plot summaries. Test failed. What you should do is fuck fuck those who weren't here to play ma uh, to play when we played nerd. No. Does anybody want to get on this list before <laughs> before I get started? I'm unraveling to it. It's too hot. Fine. There are countries out there that have it warmer than we do, but for us it's too fucking warm. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, whatever your name is, Henry Belafonte, whatever you call it. I'm going to turn you down, and we're going to start the game. The darkness killed his wife. Amazing they're still on tour after that. <laughs> it was syphilis that got her in the end. Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Go. No. Who wants to be on your AIDS list? All the pros, that's who. Rest in peace, Remedy. Now, part of me thinks this game is going to be a bit more tongue-in-cheek, because we certainly aren't in the forest anymore. But let me just do one thing. Now, fucking brightness is all over the place. It does that look too dark or too bright? I guess you can't. You don't know until we get into the game. So just let me turn my desktop camera up ever so slightly, because this fucking monitor is so old it won't fit, do it itself. And we can begin. So as for chops, I don't know how chop heavy this game is. I remember the uh, cheeky auger. Anybody? Morius, Hislop. Anybody who was here last time? I died quite a lot in that, right? You want too bright. <laughs> Good, because this is all about darkness. Maybe they'll accept me. I can remember dying quite a lot last time, but all the chops are quite low on the list, so maybe it wasn't here. Augur, it was like May of last year. It was not even a year ago. At certain points, you died a lot. I seem to remember some real sticking points here. Yeah. 
So, I have no idea. Basically, the last time we saw Alan, he was at the bottom of the lake. The house had kept him captive. And somehow he's got to get from there to the desert. There is a sign here that says Night Springs, which is the setting of like a real campy sort of uh, Twilight Zone TV show in this universe. But, but it's fictional, so maybe he's gone mad and this is all in his head. Do I remember? I have bad memory when it comes to games. Me too. That fucking summary you just heard me do was... Uh, that was me trying to summarise a Wikipedia summary I read earlier and I still couldn't do it. Probably in the house, just not watched at this point, I don't remember. Cool. Anyway, I guess we just click story mode and instead of the skip all the cutscenes run around that I did in the test, we'll just click start new story. Right. There are two difficulty modes. There isn't actually anything below that. I know my camera's in the way. I am not playing Nightmare because I don't want to be sat playing this forever. Because I'm not very good at Alan Wake games. So we're going to play it on normal. <sighs> For some reason I'm anxious about this. It's because all of a sudden I am playing Far Cry. Three, I do on Deathmatch. Two, one... Somewhere in Arizona. This feels loud. Apologies if it's loud. Barry! We aren't playing as Barry, are we? Are we actually playing an episode? He is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. Shout out to FMV, by the way. His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Is the enemy ourselves? Or are we playing as Barry? if you were good in other games. <laughs> the man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Alan Wake, enemy with it. I'm surprised to see that we're actually... It looks so much better all of a sudden. I remember the first one. Look, oh, good, so I can actually turn the shoulders. Right, so the core concept in this game is the darkness has encompassed the people of the area that you live in in the first one, that you're holidaying in. And to burn the darkness away from them, you have to shine a flashlight in their face and it breaks the darkness and then you can put a bullet in them. But you have to manage your batteries and all sorts. Okay, let's pick the flashlight up. This is like the portal gun moment. So where am I? Is it if, if, oh, I, yeah, like Outlast, basically, but it came before it. Or did it come before Outlast? This looks top all of a sudden. Fancy playing games with nice frame rates and not having to mess around on OBS to get it to work. Is it too dark on stream, by the way? Where do I go? Can I swim? No, it won't even let me walk into the water. Does it look all right? Cool. Don't want to be too bright anyway, does it? Came out three years before. Look, the darkness possesses shit. I'm gonna die so much. 
Why did, at least I didn't put it on Nightmare. Press the left trigger to boost your flashlight. A boosted flashlight beam burns away the darkness. Got it. And I've got no batteries all of a sudden. Who does this darkness think she is, fucking nerd? I know, coming out here, interrupting my uh, Far Cry streams. Grab the gun. Where's the gun? I don't know if it's going to be... I want to go... Because the best part about the original one is that you were exploring, like, some small, uh, like, middle American town. Burned away all the metal as well, it seems. Yeah, that's. I think it inhabits... If you burn away anything, that the darkness is sucking off. Where's the gun? Oh, there. Then it disappears as well. Interrupting you writing that book. How dare she come between a writer and his work? You true... true... So it's basically a zombie game, but the zombies just look a little different. Boost your flashlight, it burns away the darkness. And then when it's burned away, I can just go... It's gonna be like that again, huh? Alright, this I can do. I've got no batteries, so I just have to let the fucking flashlight recharge. Die, please. No. Fucking shit takes so much damage. At least the batteries recharge. Fuck me, that seems a bit overpowered actually. Barry Homeowner here. I was hoping Barry's not in it. Do you remember that old band as well, them two old guys? That that huge in fight on life, that stage. The man was a writer. He still practices that art. Forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Oh, it's like the first game, you gotta collect the manuscript. Look, 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 little town. Siddles, welcome to the stream. Also, is Willie as big? I've heard that. There is a song, by the way, that they made a song for this. It's like an old 80s, uh, like, leather metal band type of thing. They wrote a song for it that are from the band that's in the game, and the song is actually really good. I mean, it's it's still leather metal, should we call it? It's still Iron Maiden type stuff, but it's it's good. We'll play it at midstream break. Right, where I want to collect pages of this manuscript because it was like plot stuff, wasn't it? It's one of them loot games as well, where I have to sniff around every corner to try and find batteries. I wonder. If the first game as well was sponsored by uh, Energizer, if you remember, and there was just Energizer adverts everywhere. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Don't call me the man. So has anybody actually played this? Timed it badly again. Like, Chris Man was looking forward to me playing it. Why is he calling me the man? Somewhere within the Earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Sort of, so, so, like, sarcastic about this. Fuck, though, that's a lot of enemies. Can I run to the... Right, fuck that. Sometimes running away is the best option. Bright little areas can provide a safe haven from enemies. Fuck you, lads! Oh shit, they're running. Yeah, I'm gonna run as well. Balls deep. Now. Balls deep, the man. Alan is just Adam. Misspelled. Stand and fight. Oh, fuck, there's not enough ammo in the world. So if you get into the light, they can't follow you. Desert Shore Motel. Gas station. So what's under the earth under that thing? Safe haven formed by a bright light heals you. Good. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, fuck, why's it gone out? You're supposed to be a checkpoint. They're coming again, look. Right, let's see if there's any, anything going on. I can hear music. I 
Are you Kasabian? Unlock weapon crates by finding hidden manus manuscript pages and blast your enemies with serious firepower. Wait, so they actually... So if I get three... Wait, I didn't have three manuscript pages. What are you talking about? Hold B to switch to a 9mm pistol to a submachine gun. Uzi or submachine gun. So I get this Twitch email saying I can't have subscribers anymore until I have 90 streams under my belt. Not that it matters personally. Wait, so... Affiliates are losing their affiliation if they haven't done 90... Oh, sub-only streams. I got you, I got you. Yeah, fuck that idea. Right, I don't know I don't know about switching to a, an Uzi. I can't hear Kasabian. Hello. You alive? Can I trust her? What's this? Because you forget, it feels like it's post-apocalyptic, but it isn't. Oh, that is good. Sub-only stream, why turn away viewers? Yeah, basically it is just turning away viewers. Yeah, it's a stupid idea. Madam, help me, I'm lost. Hey, it's you. What do you mean it's me? How do you know who I am? You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the how light. They hate the light. I've got to say, we haven't actually met. I'm confused. How, do I'm, how am I supposed to know her? Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember, you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um... Now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. Looking at my I'm fucking aura. I'm very sensitive to things like that. There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap I lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you going to tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the How does... Guy? I'm confused. Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. I, I honestly have no idea how I instantly knew that I needed to look for a page. That really confused me. This guy with only his horror out. The only time I do sub mode only stream hang on, is to test something to make sure it works in the field, so to speak. That's not a bad idea. Not muddy the waters between broadcasting it to everybody. If you're withholding streams from people who aren't paying you, you're a big asshole. Absolutely. I just, I don't get the... Right, fuck it. Apparently I have to... Can I have a... Find the three items for rewriting reality. This has gone off the rails quickly. The Champion of Light recognises the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design. Custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Has anybody actually been concentrated enough to, re to work out the point at which I was meant... I, I am so confused. Apparently, we need to rewrite reality. And to do so... Have I got a fucking... The man is confused. <laughs> You're not kidding. If you was going to rewrite reality, what three items would you use, would you use to do it? Can I go speak to her? So what I've there is a portal under the oil rig, and the demons are coming out of it. 
And apparently, evil Alan Wake is the one that did it. The only time I'd do sub only is to get my willy out. Yeah, that isn't a free peep show. What am I doing? I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I want to start it again. I just like I must have just slept through some important piece of information. Actually, there is three markers on the map, though. Just out of interest, say the number one, two, or three in chat now. Do we go to option number one, option number two, or option number three? I'm so confused. Hislop says two. August says two. So I'm going to go to the second star across the top. Cheeky says two. Siddle says three. I would use Zawar... Oh, what is that, Augur? Is that an anime reference? I'm going to always assume it's an anime reference. How do I get the map up? Not like that. Not like that. No, not like that. Not there. So, I'm going to be going for there somewhere. The mini-map on the top left-hand corner of the screen shows you your current objectives. Locations of ammo boxes and safe havens are also shown as icons. Blinking question marks indicate a hidden manuscript page nearby. Cardi, welcome to the stream. We're going to go to it. Maybe I can use this as a checkpoint. I'm so confused. We're in a small Arizona town. There is a portal under an oil derrick that is kicking shit up into the air and making everybody go mental. It's like a darkness that is infecting everybody and turning them into zombies. I've just got a flare gun and a pistol. I would even say it is the anime reference. What's this place? Because I've got a bit of open world about it, Alan Wake. What's changed? I hardly recognise you. Right, can nothing attack me while I'm here? There's something in this building, I'm guessing. The train station. It's got a bit of a Red Dead vibe to it. Augur, explain the reference. Help us. Help us help too. Fu no, 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 no. Let me just get my bearings. I wasn't expecting combat for something. You are fast. The enemy tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Such is the arithmetic of our I'm just going. I'm just going to run all the way to fucking, what state's border Arizona? Nevada or some shit? Oh, they, look, they can die, they can die. Ow, uh. Alright, I'm at 60% health. Moria, I'm trying for this zero. Fuck this off. Please health regenerate, please. Don't die so early. Right, I need to turn around and just beam them. Whoa. Definitely a fucking cho uh, chop stream. With all this talk of sub only, Stubbler is selling out. Now that it, it messed up, that was messed up, Alan. I agree with you. They've introduced Cardi. I don't know if you saw. They've introduced a thing called sub only streams. Not just chat, but viewing the thing in the first place. You'd need to be a sub, which is evidently ridiculous. It's not something you can explain with words. Deal. Hang on, what fucking decade are we in? It's a good idea. Keep the riffraff out. I think the riffraff with the uh, shit buckets are more riffraff than the non-payers, right? Okay. Holy rifle! Okay, that, I've never seen a carbine. I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. Okay. What's the CD? That's one thing down. Wait, one of the ways to rewrite reality was to use a CD. What? Oh, come on, Alan. I will officially be doing every one only streams from now on. Yeah, let's make that a point. Top left. Stand number one or stand number two? This is how we pick our objectives. How would you know if you want sub if you want to sub if you can't watch the thing in the first place? August says one, Cheeky says two. Tag Slack says two. I don't know what any of this means, but it might be... Uh, I'm guessing the decision should be made on your part. Yes, people just want to do special streamer events. Yeah, but I've never thought about the fact that it doesn't really sell your stream to new people, does it? It just sells 
it sells the premium level to old people. Sounds like they think it'll stop trolls, which won't work. True. Right. So whatever the next thing to rewrite reality, if a CD was part one, what I never understood is why mobile subs cost an extra dollar, even mobile gifted ones. Is that true? Fuck this guy, I don't like it already. Carbine now, bitch. Shouldn't be shooting so close to this truck. Mate, relax. Mate, I've, you can see full well I've got fucking 33% health. Okay, still alive. Not in the UK pricing. Huh, so Americans get charged extra for mobile subs. First a CD and now a truck. It was probably something in the truck, but I want to see if I can heal under this light. Fuck, I'll go to this one. I think you can heal. It said earlier you can heal if you go under the lights. You have to pay Google and Apple their cut, Moria. Ah, there you go, Moria. Although that doesn't make sense, does it, if it's just through the app? No, is he trolling? He might be. Gotta say, rewriting reality doesn't seem that hard. It doesn't, does it? You can just do it at your local fucking gas station. I think uh, there's a truck, a CD, and a Mars bar auger, and you've pretty much rewrote reality. Petrol station. You're right, it's just because I was near a gas station in game siddles, I was just tailoring it. But no, a battery. That's two. Just one more to go. What the fuck can you make with a battery? Ooh, flares. Wait. You can toss a handheld flare or flash brand grenade. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Imagine that against a bunch of pricks. Shouldn't have used that now, Stubble, you fucking moron. Right, what's in the back of this car? I need all the ammo and shit I can get, please. Thank you very much. So it's this way, the final piece. Bet you use elevators too, you knob. What about the sidewalk and a trash can? <laughs> I don't know why I've got them two uh, examples so... So ready to use. Trouble is though, Augur, if somebody's going to come into this stream, they're going to see that little inventory panel at the bottom left of the screen and think, he's got a car battery and a CD. He must be trying to rewrite reality. An aluminum trash can. <laughs> Oh, we've, got, we've fallen into this again. <laughs> right, what about this fucking train carriage can I use to rewrite reality, or is it something a bit further up? My name is Alan Wake. I'm here to stop Alan Wake and his darkness army. I do like how the uh, flashlight looks on the back of the sign. Oh, where are you? Objective. I don't want to go in that cave, please, if that's an option. I really thought that Blair Witch game at E3 was going to be more Alan Wake. Which is actually why I was sat here right now. I've got to say, from all the times I've been to this, it seems to be the only one where reality is the most easily written. What, Arizona? Okay. It is in this direction somewhere. I define universally... Definitely universally say flashlight now, and it's video games' it's fault. There you go, Siddles. It's not just me. It's something to do with this abandoned car. A valve, of course. That's all you need to rewrite reality. Steady, Alan. Don't get these jeans oh, mucky. Wait, wait. That guy's right there. I found the dodge button. I'll let him shoot more! That was terrible shooting. Get some more energizer batteries. My parties. Fucking hell. Of all the games where there's an enormous reliance on batteries, I managed to play this after a game that has an end Except boss me. called Battery. The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. I really like that voice. <laughs> Emma. The girl in the motel is called Emma. She needs to recharge our batteries. And that is not uh, something she advertises. All the timelines, if you could please read correctly. From all the timelines I've been to, this seems to be the one where reality is most easily rewritten. I got you, I got you. For the person who takes the most pride in hating England, he sure does care about English. 
Yes, yeah, Siddles, just speak Scottish instead. It is a great narrator. It, it adds to the campiness. I feel like there should be shit to, to fucking collect around here. I want to go out and look in all these motel rooms, see if there's any goodies. There's some beers. Well, here you are. About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the most. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice. That's the name of the band. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked Is at the club. Is he in club. flashlight and swat? Sneaking me in to see bands all the time, you know. If you're going to speak exclusively in Scottish, then please translate uh, his look. I need this battery charged. No problem. Is Emma going to die in the first hour, the second hour, or the third hour? Listen, I don't know what's going to happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? I'm, I'm not going to blow anything up. I'm not going to damage anything. It's an easy, simple uh, rewrite of reality. Okay. I'm going to go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec. I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that mind? Memories are a little hazy thing. I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a, a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So you might have brain damage. You're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper. And you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I, I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My yeah, bad. this is just straight into more Alan Wake, and I'm absolutely all right with it. Emma, apparently you're going to die in the second hour, according to uh, according to Orca. Also, is Joe Barbaro going to pay you the money he owes you for repairing his fucking car? I, I can at least promise her that. Remember to restock at the ammo box. I will. It does look like his car, though, right? That was my initial thought. Right, go to the oil fields to... <laughs> As quests go, look at that one on the left. Go to the oil field to rewrite reality. I don't want a submachine gun for some reason. I don't feel like that's the way to, to, to achieve this. Oh, bear with me, Cheeky. Um, let, me just, uh, let me just have a little sip of my coffee before I go rewrite reality. <sighs> look, it says Night Springs. We are in a TV show, right? Or am I... Making shit up. Reality is like the key word there. Yeah, we're just going to nip and rewrite it though, uh, Eric. Don't worry. We'll be back. It's just another Friday. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I had to get up real early this morning. I was up at fucking 3am this morning because re reality needed rewriting. And I wanted to lie in. Wait, is it just one guy? Clear the oil field of enemies. You can dodge attacks by tapping left bumper. I got that through muscle memory, thank you. I was up at 3am. Do you sky? Was you still up or got up at 3am? I was up at 6 on Minecraft. 45 minutes of playing a video game with a coffee before you start work. Bliss. Worth getting up early for. Okay, these enemies suck. How do I... I need to remember to insert batteries. Well, I'm not one of them people that brags about how early they get up. Oh, I had to be up at fucking 11 o'clock last night. At this morning. Finishing the Taj Mahal. No, I've started uh, on the Xbox. I just fancy killing the dragon. I should do it on the stream, really. Shall I do that? Sack that off and do a complete Minecraft on stream so we can tick it off the list. Just kill the dragon. Just me, just messing about. Minecraft week. That's not a bad idea, actually. Ooh, I might do that. Might have totally reversed the sleep schedule. Still. I was up at 3 a.m. Still up. <laughs> Did you get up at 3 a.m.? I saw you playing marbles earlier to like fucking 45 viewers. Once again, Cheeky, absolutely killing it. 
You'll get a lot of twats. Go sub only. <laughs> sub only. Imagine the audience. Oh, it'll be fun though, right? But they'll all be at school during my times. So just make sure I don't do it during a school holiday. Raised houses are gay. Luckily that wasn't a child though. Just somebody that behaves like one. On a solo world. Uh, just on a solo world. Start from very much scratch. Fuck, I don't like these enemies. Wait, wait, wait. Let me test this thing out. Flare gun. Lads, just relax. That was like a nuke. Shit, they're still here. I love that dodge. Fuck off, you perverts. I happen to just have enough ammo for that. I made myself look like a good video game player for a split second there. Changes. Hang on a minute though. Eric, welcome to the stream. Dan, welcome to the stream. I'm just taking a second out of my day to rewrite reality at the oil, Derek. That's actually my mission. Match the scene to the manuscript page. How? The wheel was in place. The oil was flowing. The battery was attached. The lights were blinking. The CD was playing in the boombox. Wait, what's on the CD? Where do I put the wheel? Is this the place for the wheel? No, the wheel, here. That poem stinks. <laughs> Just be sure to do it while Augur isn't subbed. Okay, start the oil flow. I'm just re like rewriting reality. Bear with me. Okay, the manuscript then said, The battery was attached and the lights were blinking. Attached to what? Oh, play the CD. He got it bought. He wouldn't have bought it himself, would he? Worth every penny of toxic money. <laughs> Right, where's the battery go? Still a great album. I thought it was on even at the time I thought this is an album I'm only gonna like when I'm seventeen. Go back, still really good. And tier free games for the community. Tier free get wait what? Don't change the subject freeloader. Who me? Wait, where's... The battery was attached. What does the battery attach to? If you were a battery, what would you want to be attached to? This is all mechanical shit. Oh, is it on the map? It is. It's over here somewhere. Oh, I thought this was a, a buffer for a train line. It's a fucking... Never mind. Wires, generally. Uh, I guess, technically... Put the warning lights on though. This is going to restart fucking reality though. Careful, Alan. I don't know, Dead Siddles, but I think I like it. <laughs> right, I guess. I wrote, rewrote reality. Get out of there, Alan, quick, move. Where's the motel? Fucking hell. Yeah, it was his lap, I was just saying the same. <laughs> so when I went over there to rewrite reality, what I didn't expect is a satellite to fall out of the sky and nearly kill me. But I'm alright with it. And it seems like this is the Doomhouse week of perfectly used licensed music. Jesus. It was either wire or nipples. Apparently the reality you wanted included a satellite hitting an oil well. Well, in Okasabian from Need for Speed. Ooh, here's our fucking... How the fuck that didn't burn up on its way back into the into orbit, I don't know. But then again, there's a lot of things I can't quite explain in this game. 
Right, what's the chances that Emma, back in the garage at the motel, didn't even know that had happened? This is weird. This game's different, but for some reason it's alright with it, and I'm alright with it. Right, Emma, some shit happened. What if she's like a bloke now with... Well, she's dead. What else have we got to do? Guess I'm gonna have to fucking save her, right? Have I got enough batteries? I have. She's two blokes. Recharge the batteries, burn the darkness out of the boys, and then give it some. Oh, she's still in there. I'm here. Just keep your head down. Oh, fuck off. Not died yet, lads. I'm not going to start dying now. I nearly died though, but that's that's not that's besides the point. Fucking die! Okay, this guy's immune to bullets. I don't think I've burnt enough of his darkness off. Oh, quick! Shit, there was some awful shots. Die, please. Oh. Alright, this is rough. How about you burn his darkness so he isn't immune? I forgot, alright. Yeah, it's alright, Emma. I can, I can see him. I don't like the camera switching shoulders. Right. You, mate. You've got a big axe. I can't... Oh, it's a big lad. <laughs> they like that fucking band, though. The Asgard. I want to play that song at the midstream breaks. It's a banger. Oh! Ow, that was half my health in one fucking swing. I need a light to heal. You can't do that, you can't just spam that dodge. Right, the, the ad's down. I don't know where's the flare gun. Apparently you've got no darkness left, let's test it. Needs more chops. Nah, too much skill for that. It's got that dead space thing, look, where the where you're aiming isn't the centre of the screen. And it creates a real uneasy, like, almost a lack of control that you can't get your head around. Where is she? Did she die? What the hell was that? Oh, fucking hell. I got him. She's it's still alive in the first hour. tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like me. He... There was a there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I am um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend. I no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Right, like fight in a diner at a party in a hotel room. As soon as you leave, so I could close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light? Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just keep the fucking away, lights okay? on. Well, let me get this straight. We're in rural Arizona. Alan's just woke up here. An evil, dark version of Alan Wake has been through town before we got here. And now we're following evil Alan Wake and trying to work out what's happened because there's a lot of evil dark shit gone on in his wake. Excuse me. That was an unintention. Is that about right? And apparently evil Alan Wake had a party in one of these motel rooms and then had a fight in a diner. And we're going to go and call Phelps our way to working out what the fuck happened. And also a satellite knocked down an oil derrick for some reason. Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. Wow, I didn't think you'd actually do it. I mean, I didn't think it'd work. That's crazy. She seems quite calm to say that everything's happened and she's... Well... You know what, Emmy, you're all right. Let me just try one more time at the risk of sounding like a broken record. It's bad out there. I don't want you hurt. You should stay put. 
Yeah, while well, you turn this place into an inferno, run around shooting things up and play some kind of weird games with your psycho evil twin. Don't get me wrong, you're, you're nice for a weirdo. I'm impressed as hell by all of this, but enough is enough. I seriously just want to get out of here, okay? Fine. The Alan Wake had the party. Wait, could the narrator have called you the man because you aren't Alan Wake, you're just a man? You might be the real Alan Wake and you're a fake. How dare you imply that I'm not me? Does the gamma need turning up ever so slightly on the stream? I think it looks alright, doesn't it? You're nice for a weirdo. That's like a top tier compliment I've ever gotten from girls, to be honest. Despite your uh, uh, obvious and numerous flaws, you're quite pleasant. There you go, Hislop, how about that? Even I'm going to throw it in for you. Right. It says explore the diner. Yeah, the narrator is implying it. Maybe, yeah. Let's ex I, I was going to say... Do we explore the diner or explore the motel? But I think we have to go and explore the diner first. Just had a really long paid poo. Dan, congratulations. Now, what do you mean by long? I'm going to stick to the road. You'd explore your sexuality. Now I'm having a paid sit down outside. This guy. So these actors check. What's that there? Is that an observatory? Or is it? What is that? Is that an evil lair? Ogre, if you were an evil, an evil man that lives in the on the outskirts of a populated town and does bad things to the inhabitants, would you live up a hill as well? Okay, that's fully healed. Don't worry, Mori. Me and you were riding zero chops all the way to a point here. A poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility, and its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Whoa, shit! Yeah, I'm with you. Screw up, welcome to the stream. Burn, burn, burn. Which is a Venga Boys song, I think. Can I actually smash it? There you go, Cheeky. Just burn. If there's anything you're struggling with, just burn the darkness out of it with a torch. Sorry, a flashlight. Right, we're at the diner. You can drive cars in the original, in the main game, can't you? Mount Red Tooth Observatory. So it's an observatory. That was framed perfectly, then. The torches, OP, nerf torches. You get a huge fucking flashlight at, at later on in the main game. Red Sky, welcome to the stream. Let me just give you a brief filling fill in. I have no fucking clue what's going on. We're in Arizona, I'm a former writer, and I think our uh, dark villain of our last book is coming to life. And I'm chasing my former self, and I rewrote reality earlier, and a satellite fell out of the sky and landed on an oil derrick. It sounds like I'm making shit up, but I'm not. But apparently my evil self has been in this diner and had a fight recently. Sim. <laughs> So it's a relatable story, Red Sky, is that what you're telling us? Fucking hell. Right, uh, can I have some fucking context as to what's going on? There was a fight in here, apparently, between me and some other guy. What do you mean, no poo? Mistakes makes even less sense when you try and explain it than it did watching it. Hey, I think we're in this together, though, right? Right, so where did I have my fight? The scene, traces of violence, a callous midnight snack, a room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Ooh, this was a hell of a fight that Dark Me had. Dead Lake's midnight racing. What can I examine? Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. What place? The Mount Redford... Let's go to the observatory. I like how these are motel room keys look. It looks like fucking toilet keys at school. Probably shagged the wrong bird and now they're after you. She wasn't engulfed in darkness though, if I remember. This game is something else. It's good though, right? 
does a hell of a fight. I think Dark Me fights better than Live Me. Right, we're going to go and explore the motel rooms. Nobody to fight here? I'm alright if there's nobody to fight, by the way. That's a good thing. Is that briefcase not something? Wait, was there... Oh, you mean the one on the... This one. There might be some in it. Any gubs? No. It's definitely a link to the observatory, though. And the observatory's out there on the hill. Maybe Dark Me went to the observatory. And this van's from the observatory as well. Maybe the guy you fought was an employee of the observatory. I've said observatory now more times than I said bite fish yesterday. Eat this green load of shit, boyo. Look at the bits just working. Look at the bits just working. Who knew? Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. She's dead. She's dead. Augur is 301 and she died in the Emma second hour. Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond her control as much as by her own actions. No orange ones, so let's go multicolored. <laughs> I love how camp that is, though. Tag Slack, his luck, thank you for the bits, not the green ones, though. <laughs> Fuck me, I just escaped damage. Is there any way safe? Burn the darkness out of the inhabitants of this area. Shoot their heads off. I see where you're aiming, you mate. Relax. <sighs> Let him get past me. Burn him off. Bip him. Enemies, if they get to you, they kill you in one hit. I've nearly died twice and I'm in the fucking tutorial area. You were, I'll give you that, Augie. You was basically right, if not actually. You did say the first hour, right? Not the second. <laughs> There's a hidden message in there. I think he's coming on to me. Time filtered the other eight messages of nonsense. None of these. This green stuff. Green. Are the bitch are still slow. I've just really broke it, haven't I, with Far Cry? <laughs> Mario, thank you for the green bits, even though they're green. That was more blowing him away rather than bipping. True, yeah, this this rifle is strong. I'm confused as to why nobody's freaking out. She's dead anyway, let me go and make sure she's super dead. Am I going to have to fight Emma? Wait, they just took her away, they just... Why didn't you listen? She did listen, Alan. She was killed in here where you told her to be. And now you've turned your flashlight off, you fucking moron. Flashlight? Come on, give me some goods in the back. No goods in here at all. Yeah, these were the oranges. Yeah, have a puppy, it's almost orange. <laughs> uh, Momby used to fill the jar with Frank Aziz because there was almost orange. As orange as it got. Tag Slack, thank you for the orange bits. His luck, thank you for the green ones. Mori, thank you for the green ones. Calls it the Patrick Leaf. For the Patrick Leaves. I prefer that than to have to say green. Right. Do we search Motel Room 1, Motel Room 2, or Motel Room 3? I'm going to put all of these sort of choices on you lot just in case I end up getting fucking killed. Rest in peace, Frank Z. Eric says 1. 1 is the only viable option I can take. 3, 2, 1. Eric has chosen. One, which I'm going to say is the leftmost one. Oof, Scrove and Tag Slack would have uh, weighed it in the other direction. Right, so apparently Dark Me went to this room and had a pie. What did Dark Room me, uh, Dark Me do in the room? Nothing. This can't be the room where the pie was held. Alan, what are you doing in this room? Nice artwork. Just going to sit here all night and stare at the artwork. What he should be doing is reading Alan Wake's new book. Uh, there is actually a Stephen King book called Duma Key. And it's quite good. 
Right, Eric, yours was a dud. The next person to say number one, two, or three... No, one or two. We'll look at that one. Please make sure it's not a dud, the one you pick. Two, says Arga. So that is this one. It said Duma, as in D-U-M-A. It's about uh, a ra no, an artist in Florida. That's this room. Arga, if this is a dud... You're going to have to stay in the Doom House another year. This doesn't look like the one where the party was held, Augur. This doesn't look where the party was held. You are committed to another year. You fucked it. Can you get in any of these rooms? Come on, Cole Phelps. Get digging. Find the truth. Can't do that to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Augur. It's, it's, it's written in stone. Right. Nobody said two in that entire thing. I know, actually. Nobody said this room when it was a, when it was an option. Is it this room? No, this one. It was a party of very courteous guests who cleaned up afterwards. Yeah, either that or the maid's just been through. Nope, it was this one. Turns out, you you lot in the chat are the worst fucking detectives we've ever had. Wait, this guy works at Michael guy... Farabee. Dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Right, so, Dark Alan Wake had a fight with the guy from the observatory in the diner. The guy left and went back to his motel room, and the party in question was Dark Alan Wake going back there and killing him. Interesting. This guy passed out, taking five on the floor, and the bed is right there. Stupid Alan. I mean, stupid Martin Henderson, or whatever he's called. I've made that name. So these are the keys to the observatory. So now we know how to get in. Your neighbor Stephen King. The observatory. Hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. Okay, turns out we've got to the next section. So we need to play Elena Noir again to learn true that. Is Stephen King from Florida? I thought he was from Maine. Have I got that wrong? Or does he live in Florida now? An observatory. A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. <laughs> I love it. I really love it. It's really arrogant sounding. Who is the, the narrator you mean, or me? I had a Stephen King novel about the guy who's a writer from Maine and goes through some chilling revelations. <laughs> All of them. What do you mean? Is there actually one that specifically is that? Or is that his autobiography? Mount Redtooth Observatory. Evil Alan has been through this area. Yeah, it's scrub. It's really sarcastic. There's something I like about it. So tongue in cheek. It's so very remedy. Wait, if the area is monitored by a camera, does that mean I can see the fucking footage of evil Alan coming through here before me? Yeah, why is the fire service here? Very Chernobyl vibes to it. Ooh, new series of Dark on Netflix. Oh, one of these radios again. I think this is the, the old band, the Asgard band, getting interviewed. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Eddie Rodman, and I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard, who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Oh, splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I didn't realize how much I missed that. And what about you, Tor? Ah, it's okay, you know. Well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah! It's wonderful for just to be just... on stage! It it's Vince Neil after their 18th comeback tour. <laughs> well, speaking of that, you don't look like one, Neil. Vince, even fuck. Well, there goes me hoping it'd stay peaceful. I just realised I got this pump action shotgun. It's probably not the best at range, is it? I don't think they're interviewing the actual gods. No, the old gods of Asgard, the band. I'll play the song because in the first game the old gods are in a mental the, the the band the old gods of Asgard are in a mental asylum, 
and there's part one of Alan's fucking nightmares is he keeps hearing that song everywhere. Hey look! This is the only thing that would be in a Doomhouse sub only stream. But actually it's more active. I want to listen to that song again, but I'm going to be pissing when you like listen to it. I don't know which way to go. I seem to be going both ways. Do we go? <laughs> well, let's do it this way. Let's just make this completely choose your own adventure. Press 1 to go left, or press 2 to go right. Because I have no fucking clue. That's not what Toxic Tree looks like. August is right. Oh, you go right on most choices, don't you? Scrum wants to go right as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Mori would have said left. Do you know what, Mori? We're approaching the midstream break time and have not died. Let's not go up there. I want to explore this building. We need to find signs of evil. Fucking hell! Not the only important decisions that I always go far. Am I safe at the back? Always keep your rear passage in order. They actually, that, that emote that you've been using, Scrub, actually looks like the enemies from this game. See their faces. Uh, actually, that guy's a fireman. They forgot to put the. <laughs> the darkness texture on his face. Alright, I'm getting used to this now. Deliveries. There's a gun there, though. I've not found any of their manuscript pages yet. So the reason we play that song at the start is because it was playing in a jukebox in the first game. Mina got obsessed with it and kept making us play it for the midstream break. Not enough weapon. All right, so okay, one for up the steps, two for up the ramp. It's a real choose your own adventure. First answer I take. I'll let me get this checkpoint while you decide it. Marcus says up the steps. Got it. Don't worry, Mori. We've got a green making all the decisions. August seems to be making these decisions with an air of knowing what he's doing. Put the line in the coconut. Just give me a sec. Just want to tinker with something before we go in here. All my fucking settings and everything. It's like this game genuinely makes my desktop darker. There we go, that looks more like it now. Yeah, Olga definitely knows what he's doing. He wrote the actual he actually wrote the IGN guides for this game. It's fine. No, it's on my desktop, Augur. It looks alright on OBS, it's just on the desktop. I'm not messing around. I'm killing a fucking firefighter. Oh, I like how they die. Look at this place. Fine by me, I'm just trying to speed through games on the Xbox to make space. Speed through Alan Wake. I think you need to talk to someone. I like how they die. Everybody pick it up on that. <laughs> what I meant was, is it's a cool effect. Right, what we got here? There's a main observatory, storage building, entrance and guard, visitor parking. So there is actually a lot more buildings than just the. Which way did we come in from? We went to deliveries, didn't we? And then went up the stairs to the observatory. So we missed out building number three. Let's not search. I'm guessing we're going to have to search it at some point. I don't know whether to go back to this carbine. The shotgun's probably a good idea because I've not tested it yet. I'm going shotgun. Especially now I've got some pump action shotgun ammunition. Right, I have a key to get in here, don't I? That guy gave us a key? And before you realise I'm in the rear. Why can't I use the key? Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows, and wait British. a moment, it's you. I can't believe you dare show your face around here again. 
Wait, what? No, that wasn't me. That was evil me. Madam, relax. I'm the good guy. I'm not going to die here. Despite what it looks like. Let's out this shotgun. Ooh. Okay, I'm keeping the shotgun for the rest of the playthrough. This is tippers. Mori, we've got the shotgun now. We're good. Mina, welcome to the stream. It started weird. Somebody give Mina like a one second plot summary. Go away. It wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please. I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you. This game's too easy difficulty up. I don't, I don't want to put it on Nightmare. I don't know if I can do it now. I'm not going to do it now, obviously, because we've got the chop guesses are in, but... Graphics audio subtitles new. She was easy to conceive, to convince. Conceive? <laughs> I'm not her father. I think the the reason is, is because the dark things were... Right, basically, Mina, let's start from scratch. Alan wakes in the house. Alan wakes up in the house. In... Walks out of the house and happens to find himself in rural Arizona for some reason. He walked outside and the dark shit started attacking him again as it used to. So he ran quickly to a motel and found out that an evil version of himself had already been there and had a party, killed a guy, killed the guy that worked at this observatory. And fled somewhere else. So now we are trying to catch up with our evil self. To find out what the fuck's happening. Meanwhile, reality went wrong. And we had to go and fix it. We fixed it by turning some lights on. Pointing them at an oil derrick. And a satellite fell out of the sky and blew up. That's why I'm doing it, Tesla. Is that a pretty, pretty good explanation? I forgot to guess. No, you're alright. It's alright, I'll go. Don't worry about it. Greens are allowed to forget to guess. So we've got to this. Uh, I have a feeling we're in one of Alan Wake's episodes of that program he was writing. Still be yearning for that zero chop stream. I'm just into this all of a sudden. Hey, buddy. I figured I'd take a moment to talk to you. Evil Alan. There's a party next door. I'm feeling pretty good right now. A little beer. A little fun, you know? It's nice. It's not. Listen, this whole thing between us, it's a little weird for me too, you know? I mean, we don't just look the same. There's a lot we share. I mean, up here. So. I know you, right? So I was thinking maybe we could... That's in the motel. How is he doing this? Wait, is the fucking guy that works here in the motel with him? These guys are getting out of control. Look, I feel like we're both victims of circumstance here. And maybe we could make some kind of effort to... Is there like a thousand people in that motel room next door? I want to just want to watch this just to see if the observatory worker comes in and gets killed on film. The fuck was that? The phone? Oh, he's off now. He's wrapped the cord around his knuckles to go and beat the fuck out of the observatory employee. Come on, Alan, don't do this. He's a civil service worker. It's not working in the civil service, he's working in the observatory. Never mind. Okay. I like to put so much, so much weird effort into filming all this stuff.
kind of do scrub, yeah. Wait, did he go next door and just kill everybody? Okay, this evil Alan is actually quite evil. I'll give him that. Look at this place. Madam, where are you? I come in peace. Just a moment, I'll set the lift down to you. I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. That's assuming this isn't some kind of cruel trick on your part, of course. Don't do it, Alan. Don't assume he killed everybody. But everybody was screaming and everybody went quiet. Right, where's the elevator? Up the stairs, maybe? Just seem weird to have an elevator and then make me take the fucking stairs. Oh, this is it. He might be just beat the shit out of him. Possibly. But he is Evil Alan Wake. Would Evil Alan, Evil Alan Wake just be up for fisticuffs? Or would he go all in? Nervous about this woman. Stop calling him Evil Alan Wake. Oh, nice Alan Wake. <laughs> He's just Alan Wake. Like me. What did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now. Something I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellite. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he, but he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke Where? is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider it done. Why is she so overdressed? Why has she got a fucking... Why has she got the LBJ on to work at the observatory on the night shift? Yeah, it was no natural cause that dis destroyed your satellite, lady. Wait, it was me that destroyed the satellite. Does that mean that I'm 110% definitely? Tell me more about the signal. The bad it's guy. It's as if something is being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. I don't know how to describe it. So, what was the signal like? I wish I knew. He appeared before I had a good fix on it. He was very pleasant when I was working, but when I isolated the signal, he suddenly forced me out of the control booth. He said it was none of my business. He seemed to... to change. Somehow, he... He was very smooth and charming before that, but suddenly he became... I'm sorry. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. He's evil. He's evil. <laughs> All right, I get the option to ask her. She wasn't supposed to be here. Maybe not. Maybe she got called in. Or maybe she got called in because of that. Does make sense. She got called in because of the uh, basically cheeky. The woman at the observatory down the road has realised that apparently one of her satellites has come out of this guy, and she's not hundred percent sure why. Apparently, some weird signal must have knocked it out. I want to know why she's dressed like that. I have to ask. Do you always wear that to work? I was at a party for a local art exhibition. Fascinating works. No. I was called away by my assistant. Michael was the first to spot this event. I don't know where he is now, actually. He was supposed to bring us some food, but he never showed up. Tell me about the event. Oh, it's quite fascinating. It looks as if stars were changing, somehow. Or shifting positions. It isn't really happening, of course. Most likely it's caused by some kind of atmospheric refraction phenomenon. But yeah, I that's what I was thinking, else. actually. Mr. Scratch. Why is the enemy... All right, then, Olga, can we call him Mr. Scratch? Did he hurt you? No. He didn't quite threaten me exactly, but those shadowy things started to crawl into view, and whatever the signal was, he seemed to be extremely frustrated by it. He just started breaking things and left. I thought it best not to interfere. You were lucky. He's done much worse. Yes. Hmm. He showed me a knife, and he kept talking. He enjoyed the sound of his own voice. A proper maniac. You See? are not anything like him. No, I'm the good one. Despite what August says. I try very hard not to be. Okay, so what am I doing now? So I've got to go and get the imaging array from her car in the out parked outside. Easy. Hello, Stubbler. Here Hello. are some stream titles you can use. The Bialancy of Probability, Bifitiality, 
Liquid by the G. Allen, wake <laughs> that, the great British wake off, wake news, <gasps> for goodness sake. Wake news! Fuck! And try to be careful, it's a very expensive part and we don't have a replacement. So why is it just in the back of your cat? That sounded more callous than I intended. Uh, be safe. Fucking wake news is perfect. I'm angry at that, actually. Yeah, I'm as angry as you are, but thank you for the big bits. Yeah, cheeky. She seems to think somebody uh, that looks similar to me knocked out the knocked out the satellite array somehow. What actually was it that hit the satellite? Fuck. So where's her car parked? I'm guessing that's not her car because she wouldn't have gone to an art gallery in that, would she? It means you can't use it now. Yeah, that's what I'm angry about. Was it a meteor? Like waking up with Alan, a morning news thing. <laughs> yeah, wake news. See, it's nothing to do with DT. Tax that. Tax that. Shh. Right, so a car's parked down here, apparently. Alan, wake me up before you go, go. <laughs> That's his, he's got a quadruple barrel surname. Right, so a car's parked over here somewhere, probably behind whatever this building is. Wait, why is the cobwebs all over it? There was not cobwebs before. They're massive cobwebs. Wait, Arizona's not known for its bugs, right? Not that big. Visitors parking. But she's not a visitor, she's staff. None of this weighs up. Chris man, welcome to the stream. Which car does he think she drives? Press one for the small car, press two for the big car. Midstream wake. <laughs> Hope you like Spider man. Wait, have you just spoiled the fact that these are spiders? No, there's no spiders in this game, I'm not having it. Eric says two. Eric thinks she drives this. She does not. You were wrong. You were wrong. Eric, you were wrong. You've led me down a blind alley, and I'll never forgive you. Good views, though. This must be your car. This guy. How on earth? These aren't even darkness creatures. These are just big spiders. And when I say big, I mean... F Fucking big. So I'd, if they aren't real, they'll just go like this. I do. Oh, I'm so glad I got the shotgun. So glad I got the shotgun. Spider Man is waiting patiently in his Tupperware. <laughs> it does get to me that situation. I had to, to fix the stream, I had to sacrifice Spider Man. So you're going to have to stream on a night some FIFA. He didn't spoil anything. He didn't spoil it. Did you, Chris? Man, welcome to the stream. No more spiders, please. Oh, this gun's tippers. I'm keeping this gun for the rest of it. Looks like a normal camel spider size. Do they, like, hunt in packs in Arizona? Ha! Ha! Oh, yeah, we've got the Doom House Royal Rumble to come. So, on the Grow House Gaming channel... Spoderman is preparing a Doomhouse Royal Rumble. There's no date on it yet, so I can't tell you when. But basically, there is a wrestling game where all of the wrestlers have been renamed to members of the Doomhouse. And he's going to put them all in a Royal Rumble and see who comes last. And I vote we give five points for the person who comes last. Not five. <laughs> Two. No date. Good. Royal Rumble when? There you go, he gets to ask. Mid-Eastern for the most part. Mid-East US or the Middle East? Sounds fixed. Well, he probably will fix it knowing Spoderman. He seems to like his lop a lot. Right, I have the final part. Now is the time, unfortunately, for a midstream break. Now, if you know the answer to this, don't tell me. But I don't know if there's a mechanic where you can get attacked while you're AFK. Whether it spawns enemies in to kill you. Now, this is the only... This might fuck Moria, because she's on zero chops. I hope there is. 
If there is, it will push it from Moria to his lap. Do you still hope there is a mechanic that does that? Right, I'm going for a midstream break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put that fucking song on because it's a rager. This is the song from the first game. It was written especially for it from the characters in the band that were meant in the game that were meant to be like a Iron Maidenish type band. What was it called? I just want to fucking hear it again because it's top. And then it's also auto respawning. Is this it? It is! Listen to this. This song was written for the game. It's so good. Right, I'm off anyway. I'll be right back. Two minutes. <gasps> Wake me up before you go go don't leave me hanging on like a yo yo wake me up before you go go I don't want to miss it when you hit that high wake me up before you go go cuz I'm not planning on going solo wake me up before you go go take me dancing tonight I wanna hit that high yeah yeah shamrock one <laughs> I just got back in time to not hear that uh, the audio is always quiet on the stream Chris man to get my audio to be really clean, I have to push it through a few programs. And to push it through them programs makes it a bit quieter than usual. This song's so good! Right, let's get on with it. I'm coming back. Bear with me. Belaskis, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the host. Hang on, let me just fucking cool this song down a bit and we'll get on with the game. I really like that song for some reason. So that's the uh, the band that you see on posters and stuff. They made that song for the game. Hello, Cheeky. Thank you for the host as well. I apologise that this fucking logo is over the uh, alert box. It shouldn't be like that, but it usually is. But my sincerest apologies. Was you streaming, Belaskis? Or was it just a courtesy host? I appreciate either way. Are you streaming? Gah. Right. Where was we? I went and got the fucking part to get the observatory back up and running because she wants to know why the observatory went offline, why the satellite went down. Turns out, 
I knocked it down, but we're not going to tell her that. Just Hurst, I appreciate it, Blaskis. Welcome to the stream. What you want about his long fingers? I support Belas. I suspect Belaskis saw Chris Man and I were in here and wanted to see what sticky wicket was. <laughs> Belaskis has been in here a few times, isn't that right, Belaskis? I found it. Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can install the array. Don't worry, it's very easy. Look at the shotgun. <laughs> that is a big finger. Alan, you've got big fingers. The audio is quiet. The in-game audio, you mean? Where's the in-game audio quiet? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Let me just fucking bump him up a tiny bit. I can't go too far. Right. That might have worked. I don't want to turn it up too loud, though, because it, 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 the audio is super quiet compared to the gunshot sounds, and I'm always courteous to the fact that there's people at work. And put it about a bit. I did a lot of audio tests at the start. But I've got this thing in my head lately where I think if people are at work, because like Dead Space and Crackdown, it was all just bang, 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 bang constantly. So I always have to, to have the game sound just a tiny bit quieter. I'm getting crushed. I was a bit worried about that actually, but I was too busy t talking shit. Right, I fixed it for you, ma'am. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. Yes. It's in perfect order. Can we get out of here then, please? Let's take a look at the skies. Holy fuck, that's trippy. I had nothing to anchor me. That was confusing as fuck. I've turned it up a tiny bit, Chris, man. It might be a bit better. Isn't there always? The flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but, well... I got it! Please come talk to me if you have questions. Release the coolant valves. Okay, so they're, they're where? Who's the one inside? Let me gather up an ammunition before I go outside. Being someone with megalophobia, the sight of something so big moving makes me uneasy. Wait, is that a thing? Wait, what's... Wait, 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 What is megalophobia? Because when I've done a hell of a lot of work on Dockland and Keysides and stuff, and when the ships are moving really, really big fucking things, and I'm stood right at the bottom walking past or whatever, I get, like, super dizzy. And like confused, and it fucks in my head. I'm gonna love that shotgun too. Is, is it good? Whoever gets together with Alan Wake, he's gonna love that finger. <laughs> He'll be able to tickle her heart with it. Like, say, if you're next to a huge ship, you feel like you need to stay low. You might have just designated, designated, diagnosed me there, Eric. Shit. The fear of big things. Huh. Just it's like remember, a... you need to release all three valves. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Where are they? There's a valve over here somewhere, apparently. I've got to go back to Spider Town to release a valve. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I had megalophobia. Have you got a job similar to what I used to? Fork trucks and stuff as well. Maybe not that, but when you're inside of a truck, it would... Then again, vehicles, it didn't work too badly, but it was just huge, like, trawlers and uh, ferries and stuff that used to do it. Was it Cardiff once when the roof closed? Huh! Fuck me, these guys take some damage. No, I have to use the latrine sometimes. <laughs> I fucking walked straight into that. <laughs> well played. I guess it's a good thing you now sit in a wheelchair. Truth, truth. <laughs> well, evidently not, because it just triggered there and I was playing a video again. Wait, there's not a coolant valve here? Coolant valve's on the front of the building. 
You probably hit one of those museums over here as a hangar with an SR-17 and a B-52 hanging from the roof. But does it move? I think it, it's the movement that Eric was referring to. It's definitely what used to get me. Wait, how is there a valve here? There's fuck all here. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's the valve. So the fucking observatory's broken and it needs to have gas released. I'd love to see an SR-17. Is it one of them big bombers from the war? Megalophobia is basically ant syndrome. <laughs> okay, fucking hell. If you were... If Ant-Man had that, it wouldn't be a superpower, would it? It'd be the biggest disability in the world. The dog walks past and he has a nervous breakdown. Oh, God, that's the best Douglas Adams quote out of all of them. In Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there's a big, long chapter about uh, an alien race that amassed, over centuries, amassed an enormous amount of warships and a huge fleet poured all the resources into a, 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 creating an enormous armada to go and attack Earth. And after months and months of preparation, it goes through what the, the whole, the government and everything, all preparing for this armada that are coming to attack Earth. Huge long chapter. And right at the end, the last line of the, part of the chapter says, but due to a gross miscalculation of scale, they arrived at Earth and were swallowed by a passing dog. <laughs> so good. The blackbird. Oh, 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 I got what you mean. Is that what it's called? An SR-17, that blackbird thing. The pointy one. Where is... Oh, there's the valve. I walked straight past it. Did you use the controller for the first Alan Wake stubs? I did, yeah. I There's certain games I always prefer to... Um... 17, not 71. Got you. Did you say 71 before? I'm just bad at reading. Oh, 71. No, 17. 71? Ignore me. <laughs> Where are the fly... Hang on. Same place as a Concord and another hangar. My dad actually went on Concord. Can you imagine? What a prick. I don't know why I'm going around the back of the building. I don't think there are any here. This game seems like it'd be comfy on a control. Well, this is from the era, akin to Mass Effect 2, which we're playing next, where um, PC versions of games back at this point were just ports of the console ones, weren't they? Tiny on the inside. He said it was not the com most comfortable flight he's ever been on. What? There! Sorry, I just ran around in circles there trying to find this valve. If 117 is a plane I would like to see the most. Yeah, my dad was really big into aviation. He used to have a, a, a painting of a lightning on the wall as he walked into our house that he got fucking bought from somewhere or whatever. Or, Right, the last valve is this. This is confusing me. Let's go to this building. I think that's where our valve's going to be. I'm keeping this shotgun, though, because I want to see his sex finger. Never had the pleasure to be on Concord. Seen a few fly over red in the late 90s, though. Oh, those were the days. Certainly remember uh, remember the decommissioning. What was the problem? Did the rubber for, did a tyre blow and shoot rubber up into the fuselage? This valve. I keep wanting to, I keep expecting to get attacked, but this game plays with you. Fragile fuel. Oh, is that what it was? I don't know where I've got that from. Probably my pricey version of the news when I was a child. They're expensive to fly. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Where are you? What are you? Lads, please. I'm trying to release some coolant valves. Wow, 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 relax. I don't think I can dodge with the shotgun. Got him. Did that fucking hurt? Right, let's release the valves. I might put it on nightmare difficulty for tomorrow's stream. Okay, that should do it. F fuck off, Augur, not in a horror game. Stop, stop. <laughs> Thank you for the host. Right, what are you? Don't throw that generator at me. Okay, this is different. That scared the shit out of me. Perfectly timed. The night hop. No. Nope. Concentrate, Stubbler. The darkness is trying to throw a cage at you, but you got this. Darkness, please go away. I just want to turn the valve. 
I'm survived. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Chrisman, thank you for the host. Olga, thank you for the host. Expecting it now. <laughs> Follow everybody that hosted me. I used to do it when it would scare him the most. I've got all the valves now, I just have to return to Dr. Meadows. I'm not finding much ammunition, and I certainly aren't finding any fucking manuscript here. Jeez! Stop it! Alan, wait, just leave me alone. Just, I'll held my breath for that entire thing then. Right, no deaths. Come on, I'm at 60% health all of a sudden. Break. Break, because I need to kill the ad. Right, big man. You're not one of the ones that splits, are you? Oranges, question. Obviously, it's too early to subvert it with sarcasm, but what I will say is... More splits. Is ironic answers aside, would you rather I got zero deaths, or got one death and pushed it up to his lot? Obviously, don't subvert it just yet, because you've got to set a default before you give the tee hee hee answers. <laughs> would you rather it were Moria or his lot at this point? The coolant lines you just opened burst, it's all fine, no worries. Yeah, it's not like it's going to fucking melt down the, uh, the, all the electrics, because I've turned it on to be cooled, and now it's all come out. We're going to overheat! Obviously, Moria. Eric. Eric's gone orange! Eric's gone orange! Eric's joined the right side. Congratulations, Eric. <laughs> you are the correct colour. Finally. Ten deaths in the last hour. So we've got... Three ironic answers. The valves, These guys. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. The yeah, only person I who should want me to win is me. True. It's working again. Nicely done. Got it. That sounds like travel. I don't think they're happy with our success. Oh fuck off. Eric, you were supposed to be the chosen one. Look you gave into the dark me. side, it suits him though. Holy fuck, this is a lot of enemies in a small area. Oh. Oh. That hurt. Woof. That guy's behind me. He's... Run, 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 run. I'm at one inch. Why did I even fucking speak about chops? That came out of nowhere. Right, so I'm going to get bummed here. Moria is cut from the list. His lot takes the lead. <sighs> Bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Oh, I God, the done. fucking Alan Wake stress has returned again. I came back at the right time. Oh no, I've got the Alan Wake stress, he came back straight away. Defend the area, you can fuck off. They charge. The fuck? More batteries, more batteries. Oh. His lop is cut from the list. I'm getting straight up here. Okay, the game has started. Fuck. You got this, Cardi. Ouch. Siddles takes the lead. I don't know how to do this. Don't die, Paul. Welcome back to the stream. What's the... Flash grenade. How do I throw grenades? Like that. So that doesn't actually... Mate, mate. Ow! Wait, 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 wait. 
It doesn't actually kill them, does it? It just... Fuck this. What? Hold the valve, doctor. Is it working? Uh. Bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe he's got it sorted. Siddles is cut from the list. Hang on a minute. Let me just see who's on three. Cardi is on three. I don't know what to do. Why can't I? There. Get good, you right. Right, the big guy's dead. The little guys are dying off. It's all about stunning them, isn't it, with the flashlight. Oh, fuck, I shot the ladder. Rest in peace. Flare, 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 flare. Lads, fucking back away. Yeah? Ooh. <laughs> Okay, okay, I worked it out, I worked it out. There's still another guy up top. Burn that guy to nothing, and... There's just two smaller guys left. Nope, there's three, there's four. I love the mechanic though, it's cool. Jesus, this game caught me by surprise by getting really difficult in a split second. What was that? Okay. I like to experiment with different weapons. Well, I had the combat carbine rifle or whatever at the start, and that was pretty tippers. I haven't got any. F I have got a fucking flare gun round. I looked down here, and I thought the flare gun would be among the flares and the flare grenades. Uh, can I just apologise? <laughs> I might not have had as many deaths if I'd have fucking noticed that. Ouch! Okay, right. Cardi, we got this. It is Cardi, right? Fuck me, that came out of nowhere. There's me being sarcastic about the who what? Fuck Christ, I like to experiment with different body parts. I don't think running away and not shooting anything works like this, hitting this like it did in Far Cry, especially not in a closed off building. Are we receiving a signal now? Oh yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it? Or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow. But you should be getting a printout of it now. I'm confused. I am actually confused. What 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 is what is this signal? A signal has knocked a satellite out of the air. Chris man, explain it right now. Go. Add a little Rick Flay. Oh yeah. It's all become so clear now. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So something's fucked up in space, and Dark Alan Wake is looking for it the same as Light Alan Wake is. But Dark Alan Wake is chopping stuff at the, at the time. She's dressed for a party under that lab coat. Apparently she got called in from an ex... This is in the middle of the night. She got called in from an art exhibition that she was at because there was strange goings on. Apparently a satellite fell out of the sky. I have no idea. So, what's... Not Ryan's internet off. It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... They're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... 
It's not the white sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. Yeah. Eh, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Something's going on in space. Something's going on under an oil derrick. Right, let's get this print out. Apparently this is the print out of the signal. Out of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the champion of light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a road map for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. What? More like a fart exhibition. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that now, did it yesterday? Oh, we're going to a drive in theatre. So, what was written on it? A good the colour scheme. In. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. Hey, here's a lot. Me and you. First Doom House meet up. Just me and you. We nip across to Arizona and watch Ham, the documentary. You up for it? I should have paused that. Probably going to fucking close the game down. And yet, right. it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. Investigate the drive in theatre. Oh, it's a drive in. We nearly bought one of these in State of Decay. Let's go watch Ham, a documentary. I'm trying to plan bits so I don't spam you during cutscenes. I have sound effects and tons of noises going off all the time and I now have PTSD and my heavy rain experience was ruined. Ooh. I got the best ending to so I'm a fucking warrior. Waiting on my severance package. <laughs> I bet it was all, all the tense and emotional scenes and all you can hear is stunts in the background. People really do suck. Oh! Chris man, perfectly timed bits. I uh, I always work out when I start a game the method to alt tab. So if there's a cutscene going on, I can just go and then just watch the cutscene, wait for the bits to finish, and then go. But not all games can do that, can they, alas? During cushions. Is that what he said? It did sound like cutscenes. I think I guess cutscene's not actually a real word, is it? It's a video game word that we forgot doesn't actually exist. The 12th annual NVSA, uh, NSVA Film Festival. Got very Doomhouse colours. Right, uh, let me just see how much it's going to be for Hislop and I to go and watch Ham, a musical. What the hell, age? Oh, it's free for children six and under. So me and Hislop, I think, is $6 each and Siddles gets him free. Pretty good. Right, why am I here? Did it tell me why I'm here or not? How do I know to go and look at the drive-in theatre? When I get beyond two souls, I'm going to play it through alone on my couch for the first time. One single mistake can affect the outcome big in heavy rain, and there's no redos. Ouch! I guess we could just not take Siddles, true. Yeah, it's probably wise. Then at least you know, right? Look at this. Don't leave you in the car. This guy! <gasps> War Dodge! Welcome to the stream. Here he is. 23 months as well. What a motherfucker. One more month, Augur. It was, well, you're in for a year. I did it again. I instantly called him Augur. What the fuck? Why is that so confusing? Wardudge, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 23 months. Are you well? Enjoy, Wardudge, not only your chop team up, but your shit bucket as well. Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. She's got darkness in her. I'll do what you want. Okay. I, I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Because you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where okay. shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive in. 
But it's locked. You Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... It's on the wall next to the cash register. I but see you it can't. from it. You can't. Don't be bad. What is going hey, on? No problem. I'm just going to go do some other stuff. Scout's on it. Mm. Is that what happens when the darkness takes over a person? They turn into a... a Bad. I like this girl the most. <laughs> Marrying her once I give her some nice chewy sweets. <laughs> Chris man, your bit timing is exquisite. I'll give you that. Thank you, Chris man, for timing your bits outside of cutscenes. You are a hero. Is she alright? Yeah, what's up with her? So I need to go and get the key for the power station at the other side of the driving theatre. We can get the lights on. Kill them all. They become insanely bipolar. Are you alright, man? Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're going to be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm just in Collins. Not, not just in me, Collins. <laughs> just in Hawkins. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. Oh, wait. This is very important. It's an STI. Really? I mean, where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now. And you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. So Dark Alan Wake came through and diddled this poor girl and put the, the darkness in her. The darkness is sexually transmitted. And now she's gone loopy. Chris, man, I'm enjoying it. It's way more campy and less serious. I love it. And zips. <laughs> She's all sexed up, but her hand's holding herself like she's carrying. The darkness is in her already. She's going to have a darkness, baby. <laughs> Me and Eric went the same way. Her parts are tingly, so she's holding herself. What parts are reproductive organs? I can play the reproductive organ, by the way. But I got kicked out of the school choir for even suggesting doing it on stage. You all right, ma'am? You'll be fine. Hey... Just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying... That's not Siri. So basically what I've done is Siri was, was shit and lagging earlier this week. So we get sacked Siri off for a week and we've got the Welsh Phil, this voice is called. So Welsh Phil's taking over for a week while Siri has a week off to fucking get his act together. That in case True. you really need to hear it, I've been there. I, I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just going to go now. The darkness is sexually transmitted. That's impressive. Where's the key? Near the cash register. Wait. She said the key was near the cash register. Where's the cash register? I am Welsh. My name is Phil. I get my fill by playing Rocket League with Stubbs' old neighbour and offering people many different sweet chewy caramel candies. <laughs> and apparently what well, does that people have decided that fucking Phil is a paedophile. Jesus. Right. Uh, so I think the radio interviews are with the, the old gods of Asgard that sung the song that was on at the mystery and break. Gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour. Barry's managing them. Your classic material, but you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching the... Barry, sorry, <laughs> fuck's lambs. Typical. Uh, I don't need to hear shitty Barry's voice, do I? Right, let's get out of here. We were tired. We were? Yeah. You'll be all right, ma'am. You're all right. Don't worry. Just take the medication, and the I think the darkness will subside. This before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself. But merciful light 
burned away the darkness in his brain. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. What if I shine the torch at her, at her like, below the belt area? Madam, I'm getting it out of you. Is this against terms of service or? Nobody tell Twitch. So apparently, we're going to restore power by using the keys to get into the power substation at the other side of the drive-in. Holy! F Not good. Oh no, more chops. I need to get rid of this shotgun and get something with a bit more range. Sorry, big man. Didn't seem like the type to. Oh, that dodge! Right, let me get to this checkpoint over here. There's a souvenir shop though. Press one to investigate the souvenir shop stand, or press two to go to turn the power on. One, investigate the souvenirs. Two, turn the power on. If you're within 75 yards, bookshot will tear you up. But you have to... In real life, do you need to focus in the uh, the light on a person to do it? Or is that just in game? Uh, Eric says power. Tagslack says power. Cheeky says investigate the souvenir stand. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, it's a tie. Yes, that shotty and naughty, but that hottie needs a man with not a jalopy, but a nice body. How many pages do you have? Yeah, I don't know how many pages I have. I don't seem to be finding them for some reason. Let me see if I've got enough for this chest. I'll get the coin out, don't worry. Not right now, though. I don't want to get attacked after what happened earlier. Thank you for the bits, by the way. Insert the batteries. Insert the batteries, Mr. Wade. Also, I can't use the stream title Wake News. Ah. Wake News, such a perfect stream title. Right, pages determine weapon unlocks. It unlocks. Anal Wake. Sawn off shotgun for 30 manuscript pages. I don't have that many. I don't know if a sawn off is what I want. Right, so. It was between one and two. Hello, fine why you feel a fine W R T H fine mod of flint bug main silk spear. Wait, so apparently Welsh Shiri can't even speak Welsh. Never mind English. <laughs> what we're doing, Siddles, is we were deciding whether I go investigate the souvenir shop or I go to the power station at the other side of the driving theatre. Heads, souvenirs, tails, power. It was tied, the boats were tied. It is fucking, you can't see it, but it's tails. We're going to the power station. More ear and cheeky. The RNG gods told you to fuck off. It's a shame though, because they're going to be good loot up there. You are. Oh, I'm sorry, here's a lot. That was too far. Oh, no, 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 Look, Mr. Hero's here. You ready to save the day? It's evil me. We finally caught up to him. Bum sex. <laughs> Fucking taffy bum sex. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> well done, thank you for the bits. This is bad. Sure, they're allowed, but not accepted. <laughs> taffy bum sex. Think about this. Right, I'm getting out of here. See you later, mate. Sorry, I'm not allowed to fight. Right, that's one down. These guys split, though. Maybe if I get them to split completely and then chuck one of them flash grenades in there. Right, they both split into two. We're going to have eight of the bastards eventually. Oh, get rid of them. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this, watch this. Didn't work completely though. Shit. I'm gonna get unflanked if I are careful. Ha! No! Just 
just three left. Just three left. Good. Down to two. Pretty good. And... Like a glove. Right, which way am I going? That way. I love him. Are you, are you a fan of the evil Alan Wake? Let's go into the projector room and see what's going on. Why won't you let me in? Look at all the good stuff in there. Ooh, there's a fucking arcade machine. This is Alan Wake. Surely you can play that arcade machine. I'm all about it. I want to get in there. Let me get in there. Alan Wake, let me get in the projector room. Maybe I can turn something on on screen. An episode of... Night Springs. Did I have a stroke? Wait, what? What's caused you to think of that, Eric? Talk about brown trousers time. Cardi, honestly. We did an hour and a half with no chops. And then I joked about, oh, what if I did ever get a chop, though? It would pass it to his lop, and nobody wants that. I barely finished the sentence and died three times. A oh, stroke from the Welsh talk. Right. Oh, it's one of these weird Alan Wake things. Is this the one where we see him kill the observatory guy in the motel room? Hello, it is me, Fival. I am currently going west. But I just stopped by to welcome you all to today's five chop stream. That is wait news. Welcome to Night Springs. I broke it. I broke the screen. Dan broke it. I know it's back, but it's delayed. I, d I think we should leave this alone. <laughs> He's the man. He's a bit of a... Yeah. Let's leave him alone. But no one wants a Siddles win either. You're right. I wonder if we're actually going to turn something on. If I can get the power back, we're going to actually watch some shit. I don't get the reference, Dan. Which is the uh, reason I've stopped doing references as a rule. <laughs> That's a lie. You are going to shit yourself when you realise what I've done. Shut up! That's a hard shut up. That's a pretty much fucking nailed on got him. Serious, it's like some mail order snuff porn video. <laughs> But it was me that did it. It said it was at the other side of the... I'm going to follow the cables. I'm guessing that's where the power plant is. Why does a drive-in theatre have security footage from the motel? I think it's 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 all fucked up. I don't know why. But I'm, I'm glad of it. Oh, shut up. Oof. Oof. What about this cheeky? <gasps> Ooh, I nearly got myself chopped then. Messing about. Right, no more messing about. Yep, no, I wouldn't have got that fucking reference in a month of Sundays. <laughs> but I'm sure it was good. There we getting the gay bits out. Let's have the gay bits out. Is this all Pride Month? Read some journals, you can't. <laughs> I, saw, I said the word Pride Month, and Cheeky goes and drops that in chat. Fucking timing. Because he planted it, the AC tags like he planted it to scare Alan. We are going ahead of. Uh, we are following Scary Alan. Assault rifle. Fuck, I've not enough manuscript pages. Where are the pages? What was the song from that video? I need it. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll get to hear more of the song on the next one. Keep an eye out for TVs. Right, we're at the power plant. How do you restore power? Oh, this has got this has got a massive fight written all over it. Can I have some shotgun shells? Nine millimeter ammo. There were some shotgun shells. Eight. I also need that Far Cry Primal song that I forgot about. True. The only one I can give you is the one that you know the name of anyway. <laughs> and that is Kasabian. Is it Clubfoot? 
Oh, was it? Hmm. In the spirit of choose your own adventure, press 1 to go left, press 2 to go right. You both look like you can't get that way. Was it LSF? I can't remember either. I just know it was a banging album in full. It's like I'm the Angel of Gear. <laughs> the Fallen Angel of Gear. Eric suggests going right. Got it. The Night Springs Lights and Power Company. Night Springs Eternal. Okay, so I can't actually get round. I'm so tense all of a sudden. I've got the Alan Wake tension back. I think an hour of not getting chopped put me in a false sense of security. Fuck me, time is flying today. Right, we've got a bit of... just got a little bit of darkness. Psych! I am a... oh fuck, I thought the way... oh! I thought it was on his own. Hi, please. Oh, absolutely chopped. This game runs like butter. I hope it's streaming out like butter, but it's smooth as a motherfucker compared to Far Cry, especially. And what did we play before Far Cry? Fucking Eco. And the Mafia before that. It's nice to play a game that runs well. Juttings, welcome to the stream. Get chopped. I already have three times. Right, let me get some. Let me get a checkpoint. A bit of a heal. Don't go out. You fucking idiot. This is a power company and it's got power that's this faulty. Right, how do I restore power? Go inside. Psych. I am troll. Delete your face with this shotgun blast. <laughs> Are these still broken? They actually work pretty well, turns out. Bits. The graphics are great for a 360 game too. They are, aren't they? This is... Uh, I've said it... A bit recently. This is my favourite period of gaming in recent memory. Between like 2007 and 2013-ish, where online was great in games, uh, games had come a long way enough that the 360 was banging, it was ended just before microtransactions fucked everything up and multiplayer fucked everything up. Multiplayer was versus. All the AAA games that were bangers were, triple, were uh, $60 just straight out of the gate. Amazing games. Any micro anything that even looked like microtransactions was just DLC where you paid like 20% of the cost of the main game and got another 10 hours of content for the most part. Oh, I fucking love it. No, I like DLC juttings. It's just the mic. It's just the. When I say DLC, I mean like downloadable story content or expansion content in DLC. Like this. That's exactly what this is. DLC. Yeah, exactly. Like Eric says as well. GTA 4 had banging DLC. The Bioshock games all had banging DLCs. Borderlands had banging DLCs. That's how fucking in-game purchases should have been. Not like clothing items and shit. This game is fucking tippity toppity tippity toppity tippity toppity tippity toppity tippity toppity tippity toppity tip top fucking notch. Got him. The happy song by Poets of the Fall. Is that what? Oh, the Psycho song. Got it. Seriously, fuck Mafia. That was a game I couldn't wait to beat. Did it drag for you? Oh, I fucking love that game. Part of me wanted to go back and play it again. I don't like it, but I can see why they do it and don't begrudge them doing it. No, true, exactly that. But it, it's just a shame that the consumers of a game have to put up with something they don't like. If you know what I mean. Fuck, d Fuck DLC and anyone that supports that shit. Go be a cop. What do you mean, fuck story? What about, like, blood and wine content or something like this, Juttins? That's what I mean by DLC, not microtransactions. Do play it again. I maybe should. I was banging on my favorite tippers. After horse armor and oblivion and before 40% of games with 60% DLC. True. I'll have to listen to it back in four minutes. <laughs> I like DLC when it's added later and free. Like Trova saves the fucking inverse, one of the best game ever made. True, that does look good. But what I mean by DLC is when they release, like Blood and Wine, example, exactly what they did. When they release uh, another like four or five levels or another few uh, levels of content for a fucking tenner after the fact, that is in-game purchases done perfectly. 
your uh, your Ballad of Gay Tonys, your um, American Nightmares, your Minerva's Dens. Right, what am I doing here? Oh no, there's a puzzle! Are we playing a game of Wops and Cops right now? <laughs> Eric is. Thank you all for the bits, by the way. Right. What's the puzzle? So everyone is green but the middle one. Is it just as easy as copying the lights above? Yes, it was. Cardi, if you're still here, I'm entering a section which looks like it's got one it kills written all over it. That went wrong. I just... I, I made a mistake. No, I got away with it. I got away with it. I survived. I survived. Just cop me in something else over there. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, it's police. I don't know why Juttins was calling uh, Dan a cop. But Juttins is, um, is American as well. <laughs> okay. Don't get one shot by these things. That's the only way me and Cardi get to the end of the fucking stream. <laughs> no, we're safe. We're safe. Turn on the lights in the guard building. Where's the guard building? That direction somewhere. I need to go out and round. Dark Souls and Bloodborne did great DLC too. True, true, true. Die, 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 die. All right, Danzig. Die, die. I'm die, gonna die, just hide here die, and not die. Now die, you said that. Die. I confuse die, Alan's die, shirt. Die, 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 <laughs> Shotgun, stop. die, die. Die, I don't need to die, heal though. I apologise for the spam. Die, 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 my darling. Die, 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 die. Love to watch die, someone play that. Die, Hell yeah. Wait, die, play what? Die, oh, Mafia Three. Die, die, Very grimy. Die, that's why I never die, picked it up. Die. I've heard die, that, but I can't die, say it for myself. So die, I'm definitely going to play die, Mafia Three as well die, and stream at some point. Die, die. Like I played the first two probably three or four times each. I don't know. Why I haven't picked it up. I'm going to do it. I kind of don't trust any of the reports at this point. Run, run, run! How do I? I don't. This looks like the second I hit it, I'm dead. I'm almost done. Mafia Two would have been if I streamed the last two days. Mafia Two was tears. I've just beat it all the way through again. Mafia Three's bugs are fixed. Just the game carries a damper because of its less than approved release. Uh, one of them situations. Everybody, all the, the the places I listen to, really like. Which of three vanilla slash heart of stone slash blood and wine? When I do need another Witcher week, I will have to slot one in. Ooh, am I actually going through here with all this shit? <sighs> okay, don't touch the sides. All I've got to do is just not touch the sides. Although I do have a little brush to clean it if I do. Wait, where am I going? I'm so lost. I'm so fucking lost. Weird song. What about the cops, you scum pigs? Hello, I am Welsh War Doggo Nicky Boyo. Hey, piss off, you know. <laughs> I need to get this way somewhere, but there's no gap in the fence. Don't touch the sides. They're different bugs. They're not game breaking. They're just funny. Watch a few people streaming. The guards are warping through cars. It was great. Is it immersion? Oh, this way. Immersion breaking there. Get, get. Got a checkpoint. Do I, have I he did I heal in the end? Heal me. They did. Okay. Right, we're going to the guard building to turn on the lights. Safe? Safe? What film are we watching? There's a film on right now, look. You have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's going to be a blast to watch you find out. Huh. Don't want to get hit by those. Wait, they're throwing darkness. Okay, this is cheating. Fuck it. Fucking darkness, Alan's got the same shit light Alan does. Stop throwing stuff at me, you big... We're at my immersion too. Good thing it's 25 degrees out and I have no need for hot water. This guy. Hi, peso de Arnocchi. <laughs> Did you actually go to a Welsh translator for that? See, this is why Ewardodge will always be the best troll in the Doom House. I understand Vito's in Mafia 3, so he's technically in all three Mafia games. Wait, is he in the first one? Is he? 
Is Vito in the first one? He was a child, wasn't he? He was still in Sicily back then. I know he'll have come in the... He'll have been 12, actually, in Mafia 2. No, Mafia 1. Yeah, you're right, actually. He came. He was. He left Sicily at like six. He kills Michael. Oh God! Yeah, he kills Tommy, doesn't he? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you course he does. Yeah, obviously. Okay, heads up. You're gonna hear your song again, but I have to fight my way to it first. Ow! Wow! Wow! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to just explore Hello, places. my name is Mr. At. Scratch. I should be Mr. Itch because you can't catch me and you can't scratch me. I'm a god among men and everything I touch turns to darkness. I can also <laughs> dance like a motherfucker. You really can. And he listens to good songs while he's murdering fucking employees. God, that looks really blurry up top there. I want to watch a bit of it. Two games on the way to me. Two new games in one day. Wow, that many. I've sent on this day, or whatever it says. I told you I'm a psycho, psycho. Great timing, I'm not gonna lie. Where's the fucking music? Broke the game. You've broke the game. Let's go see if that arcade machine's got anything I can play on it. Thank you all for the bits. Thomas is an old guy. Yeah. Wait, did I? Hang on, I've got something confused here. Hey, Mr. Scratch. Nice to meet you. I'm the local lamb diddler. <laughs> Fuck's land. Jesus, I've poor got old an itch on my upper thigh. Scratch it for me and I'll give you a sweet chewy caramel. But don't tell mummy. I really don't like this film narrative, I'm going to be honest. What am I doing here anyway? What's the turn on the lights of the guard building? I want to go in here. I want to see if that arcade machine's got anything I can bang on. Thank you all for the bits. Where's the guard building then? The guard building is... Oh, so it's on the way in. Right. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fuck all your suggestions. I'm going to go and check the concession stand or whatever it is. I really like the use of FMV in this game. Fucking Remedy. The people who made this made, like... Max Payne and all them games. They've got such a attitude about them and it just works. There's something about the FMV and stuff. They're the most sarcastic game company in the world. Well, that's probably Rockstar. Talk of Mafia Fawcett in Vegas, but the studio pulled the series. Shit. I'd love another spiritual success to the second one. It's that game. Something about the way that game handled its... It tret its world as opposed to... With a nod to realism, I loved it. Right, fuck you all. Souvenir time. Let's just watch and kill that guy one more time. Because apparently Scrove accused me of liking watching videos of people dying. How dare you judge me, Scrove? Correctly. Cheeky and I were talking about realism in games the other day. It really helps with immersion. I am all in on realism. The things I like in games, with anything really, is when a world is hyper realistic. Yet there is one variable. Like this, the variable is obviously the darkness. And even a game as silly as this, because it has an eye for realism, it just works and I love it. And even like the Dead Space games and stuff, the the they're hyper realistic worlds. Just set in a future setting with a disease. Like the the variables are very small. I can't even get in here. What the fuck? Ooh, what's that? Crossbow. Wait, 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 wait. Do we switch the crossbow, uh, the pump action shotgun, to a crossbow? I love games where you try and catch trains with some fat dude on a bike. I need to finish that 100% playthrough. Of course you do, yes. That's a lot of yeses. Max Payne on New York, minute difficulty playthrough, when? Do you know, I've never played a Max Payne game, and even I know how difficult that's meant to be. Right, crossbow bolts can pierce the darkness that protects enemies without using the flashlight first. Uh, overpowered much? Cool, I'm not going to waste that though, we'll use it on big dick enemies. Okay, where is it I'm going? Back to the guard station. 
Like when it's just a futuristic jag and lasers and text shit with sci-fi. Yeah, exactly. Then again... But I think it's if they respect... Like, I mean, I, I know these are amazing games, and I, do, I sincerely apologise because I don't mean to offend them, but games like Bayonetta are the opposite of games that I like. Where it's just... Everything's just wacky and shuff flying everywhere, and there's just fucking big demons and walking, talking, mat and I just think, I am out. Thank you very much. Like, sci-fi can be done quite well. Like, even in Halo, you fight your, 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 your human firing bullets out of a gun and driving a vehicle with fucking petrol in it. Hey! I know Bayonet is good. I'm, I'm just saying, it doesn't need... It doesn't mean, need me to reiterate. They're amazing games, but I'm just talking about what I like in games versus what I prefer to avoid. Help! It's why WoW lost me. When it stopped being Dungeons and Dragons and started being um, spaceships and aliens and demons and stuff, I kind of checked out. Thing is, though, the fights in Bayonetta are proper tactics, not just shooty-shooty. The Bayonetta games are amazing. You don't have to defend them against me for certain. Uh, it's W, you need to do FCI New Vegas playthrough with mods, though. I would not be opposed to that, I'll be honest. Hopefully it'll be slow and get you killed some. I'm not going to the guard tower or this gun. Demons are a big part of WoW, though. I know they are, yeah. But what I mean is when it's all like... When, when it's gone from... A dragon doing dragon shit, like burning some stuff, and then you go to its lair and you kill it. When it's gone from that to a being bigger than the planet stabbing the planet with a sword, yeah, I'm alright. I can pass. That's why you need mods. Or a uh, game crash for me. Oh, New Vegas, you mean? I played a lot of it recently, actually. I maybe spoiled the playthrough a little bit. I played about... I don't know if I beat it. Like 20 hours or so? This fucking crossbow. Tag's like, I think you've just won Cardi a point here. This crossbow, watch this. It bangs. Fuck this. Ha, ha. Fuck this. You need an old PC to run you with it. I ran it all right, actually. Tell you what is bad. The Mass Effect 2 part. We're playing that next, by the way, Ward Dutch. Actually, it's not a bad month coming up for you. We're playing Mass Effect 2, Doom 2016, and then straight into Metro Last Light. It's Wall Dodge Month. That's how I explained the Call of Duty series. When they dropped Modern Warfare and went to the moon with flying boots and flippy dippy mountain, Duke code, red DLC, lost. <laughs> yes, precisely. I really want to play through one of the Stalker games. Just because of Chernobyl. Oh, it's so good. It is good. It pisses me off that everybody speaks English, but it's good. The trouble is, is I went and watched the second series of Dark straight after. And that's set in Germany. And they speak German instead of speak like they're from fucking Lewisham. Pride Month followed by War Dutch Month. Who's in here? Wait, do I have the keys for this place? Oh, it's her again. You ready, Chris, man? Siddles, get your knob out. It's happening again. I can turn the lights on now. No, don't. Oh, it's not. It's you. Oh, we turned did... her pervert off. Did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes. I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He's in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. Wait, 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 wait. Don't confirm if you know. Please don't confirm. Let us speculate. Did this game just set up the premise that Dark Alan Wake is messing around with satellites because he's trying to stop the sun coming up? Yes, Alan Wake, I'm in. <laughs> Forget everything I said about realism. We're going to stop the sun coming up. 
<laughs> I love it. That's how you fucking keep it eternally dark. He's got it right. Projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have maybe, maybe. The door. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Scruff. It's only what she said. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. I've got to go to the projector building. Interesting. Just put a big hunk of metal around it, though. The Dyson Sphere. Simpsons already did it true. Keep in mind, this is an Xbox arcade game. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. It's like a bad 007 premise. <laughs> She's still like that. Deep down inside. You all know it. After the, <laughs> after the ending of Alan Wake, they must have just hit the fucking button. <laughs> Doom 2016 is one of the games I love waxing lyrical about because I love it so much. Hang on a minute, just give me a second. Uh, it's just such a perfect version of what it is. It really is. It picked something and just fucking banged it out. The trouble is, is it might not be good for streaming because as I was saying earlier, while people are busy doing their thing during the day, if anybody sat watching it and focused on the stream, which, why would you? It might be all right, but it's just going to be constant heavy banging music, constant gunfire, screaming and blood spurting everywhere. So if you're at work trying to concentrate while having this on in the background, then best of luck to you. But we're playing it anyway. Seriously though, Alan Wake was so great, but the ending was disappointing. Uh, I don't know if they could have wrapped... I think we had this discussion when I played it originally. I don't think they could have wrapped that story up that way. I don't know if, I don't know if it had a good way of being wrapped up. It's like every Stephen King book, the endings are always a bit flat. Right, we're off to the projector room. Let's see if we can use this arcade machine. Another game or a tiny DLC. True. No boss fight, please. Okay, That's the security system. I guess it was too much to hope for an alarm and a fat rent a cop. Uh, Cardi, you confident? I've got to destroy the dark fountains. Use the pistol for these. Euro 2020 palette. Where's it? Where's it held this year? Uh, next year. Stop! 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 Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Now we got this caddy. We got this. What is going on? How do I get rid of the fountains? Not like that. You don't run out of batteries, do you? That's destroyed one. There's nothing on the screen, is there? There's me trying to get into that. Is it right? Lads, I'm coming for the... Uh... I'm coming to have a go on your arcade machine. Am I going to get chopped if I walk into this? Oh, there's more dark fountains. Ah, I've got to destroy all these. I might have got myself killed if I'd have walked in there then, so thank fuck it. Decided against it at the last second. Shit. I'm running out of batteries. I've got three batteries left. I'm guessing these things just keep spawning. I'm going to burn the darkness off you, whatever the fuck you are. Does this kill me if I walk in it? It sounds familiar. I think I break somebody's heart every stream saying that at least once. I'm beginning to think this Alan Wake is a front to promote big battery. <laughs> well, the original game, this one doesn't seem to be, but the original game is literally sponsored by Energizer, and there's Energizer batteries all over it. So jokes aside, it actually is. In my opinion, if Chernobyl was in Russia, it was in Russia, it wouldn't be so popular. And I'm glad it was in English because it told the story of a great catastrophe to a lot of people that didn't know anything about the accident. True. Yeah, I guess it was a bit more palatable for everybody else, but it it just... I don't know. I think it's me being petty, because I still think it was fucking amazing. 
But it's like when you play Metro with the subtitles on, uh, in Russian. It just feels better, doesn't it? It just feels like it's more in the place it's set in. Yeah, it was still awesome. I'm not to say I certainly am. Begrudging it. It actually is. You look up Energizer, Alan Wake 1. There we go. Tardy, you're safe. We're safe. Right, Mr. Wake. At least we turned off the uh, the snuff film. Quite stunned. And some more batteries. I do need more batteries. Where do I get them from? I think you get them from them boxes on the wall, don't you? But I don't think there is a box around here. I'll, tell you, I'll just hope there's one in here. Let me enter the code. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. What weapon? What's up with you, Dan? Match the si- Oh, I'm doing this thing again. And we're, we're uh, altering reality again. Everybody prepare. A satellite fell out of the sky last time. It was late at night. The summer was almost over. How do... It was late at night. The summer was almost over. So it's something to do with this... What time is late at night? 11? It's midnight, it's the morning, isn't it? Let's go for 11. Oh, let's go for 11.52. It turns out Alan's decided. Oh, Tom the Poet. And summer almost over. If someone can guess the exact date... No, it's not going to do days, is it? Never mind. The summer is almost over. August? Well, that's right, right? Summer was almost over, August, 11.52. Summer ends September 21st. No. No. It's August. Oh, it's 11.52am. You're right, Scrove. Good spot. That's AM, idiot. True, true, true. 2.56am. That is late at night. Hello? Oh, hell, this isn't going right. What have I done wrong? <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not going to do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be. And I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got is going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you going to do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever. Show yourself. Whatever you say, buddy. I love this FMV stuff. It's so rare nowadays, yet it's so fucking cheesy and it's perfect. <laughs> Show Alan Wake he's coming for your boy to erase his clothes. The club. rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is. A maze that loops back into itself. What? I'm, I'm here again. He sent me back. What? Ever seen Groundhog Day? This is part two, bitches. No, the cabin's going. Okay, this is just teleported us back to the start. <laughs> Something about that evil Alan makes me want to see a decent Riddler in a Batman movie. Played by, you guessed it, Alan Wake. I've still got all my weapons though, that's good, that's good. So I've got to leave the canyon? I'm so confused, but I think I like it. Sixteen minutes. That's what we've got left of the stream, but we've got even less time for the chop counter. We've got eleven minutes left. I'm gonna do over. The actor here is pretty good. He is. He's so like schlocky and perfect. 
Is it like the same as uh, Max Payne, where Sam Lake, the guy that made the game, actually played Max Payne and was the face of Max Payne? Right, we're here again. The oil derrick hasn't been knocked over, so we're but we're pre meteor or whatever it's called. Uh, satellite. Oh, nice. oh, fuck off! I hate what the birds. The hell? What? I've got no batteries. I don't want to deal with this. Leave me alone. Wait. That did nothing. Fucking die, please. Fucking... I'm off with your stupid fucking... I've got no batteries. I've got one left. Mate, leave me alone, please. Got it, I got it, I got it. Right, crossbow for this chap. Should have used the crossbow on both of them. That was a waste of pistol ammo. I'd watch another game with him as the main character. True that. Was that the game or was that Stubbs? Wait, what? The game showed me what you guys feel like when I go on about one of my narratives. <laughs> oh shit, not another one. We're off round again. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? Uh, what's Scruff? If it was wincing or crying, it was probably me. Or if it was me saying, I hate the crows, that was also probably me. The high-pitched noise, that might have been me. Okay, definitely use the crossbow on these things. He wants me to talk to Emma again. I'm happy about this. I have noticed the green and orange gas sign though, so I'm in favour of that. Right, back to the motel. Apparently Emma's still alive. She got fucked up last time. There's no meteor in the street. We can do this again. Right, I've gone back in time. Let's just fucking play this game properly. I'm, a, I'm getting rid of all the chops. We're back at zero. Mori, you're in the lead. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. <laughs> right, we're back up to three. We're back up to three. Ignore that noise. That wasn't an extra chop. Cardi, don't worry. Be still your beating heart. Right, shall we unlock this uh, SMG this time? Sothan, welcome to the stream. I didn't know there was Alan Wake DLC. Sothan, it's been quite good. Right, quick story recap, Sothan. Alan Wake arrived in Arizona somewhere. He woke up out of nowhere. Turns out uh, he is, is, is chasing a dark version of himself. The dark version of himself is a bit of a bastard. He's been following the dark version all the way through this whole fucking thing. Turns out the dark version has been chopping people. And murdering people. And now we've times looped back again. And I don't know. There you go. Fuck you bastard. I got a boner now and nothing to do with it. I don't care. Play the game. Right, more detail. So, it turns out that there was a satellite that got knocked out of the sky by a meteor. Knocked down an oil derrick. And that was all because I apparently rewrote time. I love wibbly wobbly time stuff. We're back again. Back again. It is quite good. Right, she's alive in this universe now. Emma, are you actually alive or are you like the other woman and gone a bit whappy because you've got the darkness up you? Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I I went out and got them. Well, most of them. Emma! I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was going to follow him in there. Sorry. Shit, you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kind of remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. No, you didn't yeah. die. Okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? Yeah. Just go get that battery. <sighs> I'm so... <laughs> this game's stupid and I love it. Try to stay calm. You're perfectly sane. We're caught in a time loop. That's why this is happening again. I... I believe you. God, I feel like I might just lose it any second now. How come you're not freaking out over this? 
Because of my personal weird shit meter this just doesn't work. Look, I know something happened to me before. You're gonna be okay if you just keep cool, okay? I appreciate that, Augur. I just, I just like it. I'm saying it's stupid because it's silly and it's telling a daft story, but it's all I'm all about it. Oh yeah, also, Eric's correct. Uh, evil Alan also wanted to block out the sun. You can't sex her because she's retained a bit of Thanks memory. Thanks for getting this stuff for me. It's a big help. I hope so. Are you going to make everything blow up at the oil field again? I have to. Well, whatever the hell else you might be, at least you're not boring. <sighs> no offence, Dan. I mean, in fairness, the dude is walking around What's with a crossbow. The That'll save time. Right, if I just have to get the crossbow. The quintessential guy who puts up with weird shit right there if he's walking about with a crossbow. True. Right, where's the railway? Apparently, I don't have to get the battery this time. She's already... No, I don't have to get the CD. I don't have to get the... Uh, re, uh, the... Valve. I just have to get the battery. It's apparently in the railway tunnel. Fuck that. And if anyone think it would be hilarious if this game... If this was all the game was, just the same hour and a half on uh, looping infinitely. <laughs> How many times do you think we'd have to play it before I realised and stopped? How do you plan on blocking out the... Sun? We don't know, but it was implying that he's... He went to an observatory, knocked a satellite out of the sky. He also uh, started messing around with a projector. And the implication is he wants to block out the sun because the da he's controlling the darkness, the evil Alan. So if he blocks out the sun, it'll be forever dark and he'll win, right? I'm with you, Augur. Ah, so am I. No, no, I'm set when I say it's stupid, I mean it's 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 well, this tongue in cheek. Safe. And it's cool. Right, so we haven't been here yet, have we? The battery was on the truck last time. And the battery. Battery in the car. Bet the battery's in the car. Easy. Jalopy! We're beating Jalopy tomorrow, by the way. I mean, re-beating it. I also put in motion the plans to play Human Fall Flat again on Physics Friday. But I'm going to turn this monitor off in front of me Hide OBS, and you fuckers are going to tell me what to do and how to beat each level. Tell me where to go, how far to walk, when to jump, what to grab. <laughs> Spiders don't want it. I think this is going to go very badly. What, being in this cave or the human fall flat thing? Not this Friday, we're going to play some cooking simulator before then. It's unfortunate I was only just able to make it here. It might go very badly, it's worth a go, but if it doesn't work, we'll play something else. But I just like the idea of seeing if it's possible. We'll see, we'll see, right? Worth a fuck about. That's what Fridays are for in this shit hole. Where'd where all the spiders just go? The spiders spawned. I ran away and they all despawned. Now I just need her to charge this up. Okay, we got the battery. I think bro, there's... Fuck that. Run. Nope. Alan. Nope. Nope. I don't like these fucking things. Have you played Keep Talking and No One Expo? I haven't. Swift and I mooted the idea of playing it co-op. Die. 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 I've got no fucking batteries. Such an ammo sink, these things. Ow! Just, Alan, run. Just fucking get out of there. I'll convince Swift dude that me and him need to play Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes on stream. Shit, that means I've just run out of pistol am ammunition. And there's spiders everywhere! Fuck this, just run straight up. There's a manuscript page. First one in ten years. I might waste a flash grenade. Did that kill the spiders? Didn't. That's a gross waste of... Uh... I need that manuscript page. Please die, spiders. I did keep talking though, it explodes. It's loads of fun. It must have been out for years that now, thinking about it. Hey! Get rid of them! Nope. Like 2015, 14? Fuck off! Leave me alone, I wanna get this. Will you? You're not gonna stop, are you, you pricks? Get the manuscript page, Alan, quickly. And then run. <laughs> right, I need to be collecting these to get the big dick weapons. Okay, 
right, back to Emma. I've got the battery. Is she going to be dead when I return to her like she was last time? There's a TV in the woods. I need some ammunition. Ah, I want to watch that TV because I want to watch if he, if he's killing people in that. It is now 55 after the hour. Cardi is person of the century of the day. Congratulations, Cardi. I'm going to try and find at the next checkpoint. We'll maybe watch the cutscene. I don't know if she's died in this one, but she got fucking... She got sucked off in the last one. Can you die, please, spiders, and stop spawning? Because I want to watch this TV show. Right, Alan Wake, don't be weird on this, please. Oh, fuck off! Wait, you're not implying something, are you, Chris, man? As far as we knew, she died. Just came up to me and said she's my biggest fan. Uh oh. Alan, this is bad. She got sucked off in the last one. Quote of the year. <laughs> you should play and play with Swifty a new game called World of Warcraft. It's an MMORPG. Sounds biased, but. I know. They all say that, right? I did it again! And she's giving me the eye. So I make a couple of moves. Whatever I keep breaking these by your and having to. Start happening. But I say I have to go to the bathroom first. Uh oh, right? She's got no idea. Don't do it, Alan. This, this is gonna be priceless. It's because I keep having to alt tab Chris man to pause the game. Alan, no. I am. Maybe a little. I had a crappy day. Yeah? Don't worry. It's improving real fast. She's his biggest fan, Seth, and that's what he said at the start. Yeah. She found him in the hotel and just and knocked to try and get in. Hey, don't stop. It's just getting good. How is it poorly done? I think it's as campy as it needs to be. Didn't expect that. I didn't expect Alan Wake to just be so just flat out gory. Okay. Alright. Don't do that. Now we're just going to watch telly. <sighs> Fuck, we need a checkpoint. Where's a checkpoint? Get me to a checkpoint. I need to turn this game off. It's confused me. It's baffled me. It's killed me. It's sickened me. And now I don't know what's happening. Was that a live stream? No, it was uh, basically so then. The other Alan Wake, the evil Alan Wake, has been going ahead of us. And he killed somebody in this motel. In the old time, in the old timeline, he killed a, uh, somebody that worked at the observatory. In this timeline, it seems he's killed a fan that came up to him. So, I I guess we're going to find the slit throat of that woman when we go into the motel room this time round. Please give me a checkpoint. Checkpoint reached. So that means we're going to talk to Emma about recharging the battery and go through this entire fucked up time loop again. On Monday. Fuck, why do we always start good games at the end of the week? God damn it. Right, that means that tomorrow is going to be jalopy, but Monday is going to be we're going to have to wait to play more of this. Fucking furious. Cardi, congratulations, you are person of the century of the day, which, after the Oranges took the lead very, very briefly, now puts the Greens a further two points ahead. Wait, 70... No, oh, fuck, I had that wrong. It's 74 to 73. So now it's 75 to 73. Absolutely fucking brutal.
Right, I'm getting out of here. Arcane action. Is that some mode in the main menu? It is, it is. It's probably just some... Like, exactly that. Just some way to bleed a bit more content out of the... Uh, out of the... The core mechanics. 76 to 74. It is. Greens, congratulations. Mori have put some effort in. Uh, who else? His lot got points this week. Now Cardi. Congratulations. I didn't just delete Jalopy because you want to see it so much. <laughs> It's a shame I'm not the only fucking stream on Twitch, right? Right, I'm getting out of here though. So for today, Alan Wake, you actually surprised me by being more fun than I expected you to be. But, I put it down. Wait, what's the score? Let me go check in Discord. Sorry, right, I've got all this fucked up. It is, it's 76 oranges to 74 green. Sorry, 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 sorry. I might have confused things. Alan Wake, you was amazing. 76 to 74. Oh, there you go. There you go. Sorry about that. The scores are correct now. I am done for today, so I'm going to get out of here. But I love you all very much. Thank you for joining me for whatever the fuck that game was. Harry Nielsen, stubble, you lovely man. This this song was on the uh, soundtrack to the first game. We need a Bob Ross at the ending at some point. Oh, screw. Wait. Wait, Scrub, have you been around here long enough to remember that? It's Harry Belafonte, is it not? Is it? I'm gonna say, I got you, Scrub. That <laughs> confused me then. I was like, oh, wait, is that, was that just a good guess or not? Right, yeah, we do actually. I should put Bob Ross at the end of the song or something. It's not Harry, Harry Belafonte. Harry Nilsson also did it. He did the Bod Banana Bird song. It doesn't tell you who this is. Is this an alternate version or whatever? This is the one from the soundtrack. The Bob Ross song is saved for only for the WoW Duo streams, you heretic. <laughs> I've been sat here for fucking ages without the game. I'm getting out of here. Ladies and gents, I'll see you in Discord. If not, I'll see you in fucking WoW or whatever. And if not any of those, I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early, for the fucking final stream of Jalopy, hopefully. Uh, but I love you also, so thank you all, Eric Scrove. Eric 2. Uh, Argot, Chris Mann, Tagslack, Moria and everybody else. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the subs. But basically, just get out of my house. I've had enough. Ah. Oh, that was awful. Wait, I didn't squeak properly. Jeff, just cut the last bit, the last 30 seconds, and when I say, when that's right, and then put this one in. Ready?